percent in this fourth quarter. Defended by Anderson. A shot's good from Ramos. They got on this roll a while ago, and they just haven't looked back. And the good off the glass. And he's made the most of his chances, hasn't he? He really needs to continue to work for those good looks. Here's Genson. And the defense didn't have position. They whistle a blocking foul, and he'll go to the line. First free throw is good. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Gone five of eight shooting as we've come down the home stretch in this final quarter. Number seven. The long range jumper. The defense sagged off, and you know he did not hesitate to rise up and bury that three. Gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. Passes to Soto. Pass to Perez. Six on the shot clock. Five seconds. No good. Well, he did have a three-pointer in the first half, but so far here in the second, he's come up. Open shot is on the money. You know, it's really hard not to notice the difference in the passing of these two teams today. Yeah, look at the discrepancy in this, the assist call between these two teams. Here's Gadsden. Three corners off the mark. Rebounds are split just about down the middle in this game. I venture to guess whichever team is able to maintain that energy level on the glass will have the upper hand the rest of the way. It's rebounded by Aguiar. Had a pretty good look at the basket, but defensively they did a nice job rotating, forcing the miss. And there's the pass to Sutton. Got a good look, though. I thought that was going to go down. Now the game will make it just enough to throw that shot off. Now here's Anderson. Now here's Anderson. in from close range and you gotta like the defense inside really protecting the rim challenging shots and making his presence felt around the rim that's exactly what he can give you. he muscles it in through the contact and they call the foul he's on his way to free throw line you know nobody responds to end of game pressure like this guy that's what comes to mind immediately for me he's hit some monumental shots in his career and some guys just embrace the moment at the end of the game that's him it's how easy he makes it look to change his shot in midair and usually with defenders all around him because of that it's really hard to block one of his shots well, you have to like how he's challenging the defense now in the second half. Getting to the line for a lot of free throw opportunity. Hey, balance it out. Number 12. Oh. And so he draws.
there's the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. Yeah, the defender draped all over. Pretty plain and simple. Got him good there. And the first one hits. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. You know, he's as close to a sure thing as you can possibly have when he steps to the line. That's the argument. Comes up empty off the pit. And it seems like nothing is falling for him this quarter. He's really out of his rhythm. Number seven. Shot, shot. Tries to keep it alive. Great look, but off the mark. Gone only six of 14 from the field in the fourth. Yeah, the best to Fires from deep. Cut the bucket. 19 points in the game. That's his second three-pointer of the half and his third overall. Getting off four three-pointers in the final quarter, and two of them have fallen. Let's catch up with Doris from the sideline. Hi, Kevin. The head coach for the visiting team had some instruction for his guys during that last break. He told them, the game is right there for the taking, fellas, but we've got to be first. First to loose balls, first to the rim. We have to give our all right here. Kevin, now's the time. And it's going to be out of bounds, and they'll keep possession. They're fortunate that one was just deflected and not stolen. Dodged a bullet there. shot today. A lot of open looks out there. I agree, Steve. The defensive rotations have been abysmal. Now here's Anderson. Let's <laughs> go with the three. Go go go. Solid rebound there. And with the score like it is, that's an area they just can't afford to get lazy. With. You know, I think the has been there, Steve, but they're still getting outworked just by a scope. <laughs> The pass to Perez. <laughs> Tries himself. Swiped away. It's going to take something special. Maybe a miracle. Oh, 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 it's rebounded by Aguiar. This may be their most important possession. Now, as long as they don't make a mistake here, they should be safe. He That's drops it. the first one, and that makes it a seven-point lead. I like Shooter here. I like Shooter. Here we go. We're going to push it on the net. Let's push it on the net. And so he drops them both. It's an eight-point lead. That's right. And it's going to go the other way. Boy, they couldn't hook up there on what's really a pretty basic pass.
man. There's 25 seconds left in the oh, fourth quarter. Time. Number 12. Hey, get it. Him. Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. Drawn 8 of 16 from the field in the fourth, exactly 50%. And he commits the intentional foul. He doesn't hit the first, and that was the one they really wanted. He's got one more, though. So he comes up empty at the line. Gone beyond the arc seven times here in the fourth, and hey, unsuccessful three times. Shot, shot, Number shot. eight. Get it. Get it. Get it. off the mark. And now we've got the intentional foul. And the first of two, no good, heartbreaking. And he ends up making the second, and that increases their lead to six. What's your take, guys? They need a miracle right now. They have to make a three, then foul, then hope the shooter misses the foul shots, both of them, and then make another three. That is not easy. seconds left here in the fourth quarter from deep three-point range no good so the home crowd happy here as they get the victory both teams played well but these guys had the edge yeah i think so they were just steak knife sharp very on